Since the beginning, when Smash Brothers came to us on the Nintendo 64, it blew our minds as gamers, bringing us all the different Nintendo characters we love into one game. But something else it did that blew our minds as well is it brought us some of our favorite levels and worlds from video games together into one game. So today, with the help of a few friends, let's talk about the best, our favorite Smash Brothers levels of all time. My favorite Smash Brothers level is from Super Smash Brothers Melee. And I love Metroid, I love Super Metroid, so it's gotta be Brinstar Depths. I love the fact that Kraid is massive in the background and he's swinging his arms and he's messing with the level. I love the fact that this level doesn't stay stationary. That there's a central giant stone-like block and there's two smaller ones that you can land on and it's rotating. So there's chances you'll fall off. It just makes the battles and the fight more dynamic because of its constantly changing nature. And it's Metroid, which makes it automatically Great. My favorite level is a level that comes to us from the first and original Smash Brothers game on the Nintendo 64, and that is Dreamland. This level gives me some of the things I like most in levels when playing a Smash Brothers type of game. First, I enjoy smaller levels in Smash Bros. I never like when my character or other characters on the screen get super small due to the level needing to expand so wide. Secondly, I love that the stage engages with you by blowing once in a while. But this is not overdone. While I love the engagement here in this level, there are so many levels that overdo it and it really bothers me and makes me feel like my skill has nothing to do with me winning or losing. Another reason I really like this level is that we get three different platforms at two separate heights. These give me a chance for some great upbees, but funny enough, keeps me protected from characters like Kirby dropping heavy downbees from above. The last reason is the most simple and obvious obvious reason and this is the level music combined with the colors and the vibrance of this level. It oozes excitement and fun and to me that's what I feel Smash Brothers has always been about. So Dreamland encompasses all of that, throws it into one level and gives us a great time and a great reminder of what Smash Bros is all about. Alright, my favorite level of all time on Super Smash Brothers has to be the Star Fox level. And I know that, look, it starts off with Sector Z on Super Smash Brothers 64, which was the first one, but then they changed the name to, uh, wait, what's the name again? Corneria. I still love the original one because the ship was a lot larger, you know, like, uh, like the characters look a lot smaller on them. But with the new, uh, stages, the characters look a little bit too big. But since I always use Bowser Jr., I love the terrain on the stage because, like, I could always just get in my little cart and I just smash on everybody that just that's just standing there at the top of the ship. And I also love how the R wings always just come down and they just like randomly shoot you or like if you stand on top of them and they fly off, you actually die. That's actually one of my favorite ways to kill people is to like just throw them on top of the ship and then they just, just fly away. Oh my God, I'm so excited just talking about Super Smash Brothers right now. I just wish I could. My favorite level of all time has got to be Final Destination, no items. And the reason for that is that I'm the type of Smash Bros brawler that likes a straight up fight. No gimmicks, no items, no dodging or hiding or running. I hate it when you win a fight and the person that lost likes to bring the stage or the items. I just want a straight up fight, no excuses. Can you go toe to toe against me without the assistance of the stage or items? That's what I really want to know when I'm playing you one on one. To me, that's what Smash Bros represents. Competition, one on one, no excuses. Those are our favorite levels from Smash Brothers history. Let us know what your favorites are down in the comments below. Also, make sure to go subscribe to NES Complex. He is back doing amazing content on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure and like the video, please. We would appreciate it. And also to subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Sayonara. It's the one from Breath of the Wild where you play as Link, but you can also you can use your glider and I just I love how in that game you're you're playing with other people. Wakanda forever! <laughs>